Ah, good. Finished checking my email. Inbox zero. Hi, I'm Aaron Jones, and welcome to another vlog coming to you from Nihama in Japan. And today I wanted to talk to you about how I check and manage my email. Now, I use two applications for this that are both available for iPad, iOS, Mac OS, Android, and、uh, Windows, except for one that I don't think is available on. Well, you can use it on Windows if you use Google Chrome, but I'll talk about those in a second. Well, I'll mention the name. The two apps that I use are Mailbox for iOS, which is also available now for Android, and Google Inbox. Before I got, talk about those apps, let me tell you how I have my email set up because it'll give you context on how everything works. My email is set up through Gmail. Now, I don't use my Gmail address. Back in where I have my domains, I have several domains my AaronJones.com, InspireMagic.com. They're hosted on a service back in my hometown in Canada, in Victoria, British Columbia, from an ISP that does my hosting for me. And、uh, disclaimer, I used to work for that company for a few months part time, long time ago, 1996. Company is islandnet.com. And that's where my email server is. And I have my Gmail set up to check that as a pop account. So then every, I don't know how often it checks it, but Gmail will check it as a pop and take everything off those servers and it puts it into Gmail. And then I have set up different filters for each domain.、Uh, however, I, I filtered it out for AaronJones.com, Inspire Magic, and JapaneseLearning.com, another site that I run. And then I've set up aliases so that when I reply or make a new email, the sending from Gmail, it will send it、uh, with the reply address on my proper domain, not my Gmail address. For more details about that, I won't explain how to set that up in this video. You can go to the settings inside Gmail and see how to set up a pop account and set up aliases. But the alias thing is a good thing, and I'll talk about that later when I get into the applications. First app that I wanted to talk about. That I use a lot is my main email application. And I use it because I usually check my email on my iPhone. If I have to write email, I usually do it on my iPad or on my Mac. Now, the program that I use is called Mailbox, which came out about two years ago and is now part of Dropbox. This is a very simple and easy to use、uh, email system client. That connects to your Gmail account. And I won't show too much on here. I got、uh, some junk mail here. You can see on my iPad. Now, this is available for iPad or iOS for iPhone and iPad versions. There is a Macintosh beta version. It's also available for Android. And、uh, you may have seen this before. I'll put the link to the website below, and they have videos, and you can check it out yourself. It's free to download. And all you have to do, oh, there's another mail you can. Move it this way to mark it as read, and you can go all the way. You can mark it as、uh, delete it. And if you go this way, you can sleep it or you can postpone it for another time for tomorrow evening or tomorrow morning. And I use this function a lot. This is very useful for important mails. I check on my phone. Oh, I want to reply to that one, but I can't do it now. I'll set it for tonight. And then my email box is empty. When I get home, the mail comes back in there. Then I can reply to the email.、Uh, one thing you should know that when you delete, so I'm going to delete this mail that's here. If you delete it, like this, it doesn't actually delete it. What it does is it archives it in whatever folder you have set up for that email in your Gmail. So, what I like to do is about once a month, no, once a month, once a week, I go into Gmail and delete the mails I no longer need. And I really enjoy this program, and I use it on my Mac, and I use it on my Uh, iPad and iPhone. Now, the other app that I use to manage is created by Google, and you may have heard of it. It's called Google Inbox. Now, Google Inbox is very much based on Mailbox. It's very, very, very similar.、Uh, but there are some other features. Now, you can see here it has an empty screen because it, they're all connected. And, however, I like to check the email. 
on Mailbox. Now, Mailbox, you can set to auto swipe junk emails. Now, I turn that off because I like to check each email because I have missed emails that way. And uh, so I like to check each one. And I really like the simplicity of it. Now, Inbox is very similar, but it, what it does is it bundles mail. So, for example, if you have a bunch of web orders, it'll bundle everything or junk mail promotions. And you can do one swipe to archive them. And I don't like to do that. I can check each one. That's why I use Gmail as the main account. And our, our Mailbox as my main client. Now, Inbox, what I like, and this is the function I like, is that it has special... It's hard to see here. I'll put this on the screen uh, later. Or you can check it out yourself on the website. Now, Inbox is available for iOS, of course, Android and now available for not just Google Chrome. If you use Google Chrome, you can access it. I'll put the link down here on Google Chrome, but now it also works on Safari, so you can use it on your Mac if you're not using Google Chrome, and on Firefox, so the browser of your preference. In that case, you can now use this program online. But it has its own bundles that only works in this app like travel and purchases and this automatically filters and this is why I like to use this one as my secondary client because for example if I go into purchases for tracking numbers here's all the or internet orders I have and I go in and I can uh, check the order and track it and it does it automatically I don't have to do anything now mailbox you can make different mailboxes and you can sort them out that way but I don't need to because uh, Google Inbox will do it for me. Now, I do do that sometimes with important mail. I'll put it to a folder called Watch This so that I can, it's always in, it'll come back up and I can easily check it on my phone. But I do like this one here. Now, the one good thing I mentioned earlier was aliases if you use your own domain and you're connecting to Gmail, is that these applications support that. And I'll put a little visual up on the screen here. This is Mailbox. So if you make a new mail and you can go in and check which domain you want to send it from. That's one of your alias email addresses if you're checking an external pop account. And the same works for Inbox. And I'll put it up on the screen here. This is the iPhone version, the iOS version for iPhone. And you can select which one to send it from. Now, it's smart. So if you receive a mail to that domain, it'll automatically set that up. And you can set up a default one as well or set up your Gmail address as your default one. I have mine set up as AaronJones.com because I don't often use my Gmail account is public. Now, I love these applications and because of these two, and now the inbox, as you may notice, before was only available on the iPhone, but uh, a couple days ago, today is uh, July, uh, July, February 21st, and last week on the 19th, I think, a few days ago, they released it for the iPad, which I makes you really happy, uh, for a full version for the iPad. And you can do this and this. Now, the one thing I don't like about the inbox one is, is that if I want to delete a mail from here, I can't. You can only sleep one, but you can't delete it. If you want to delete it, you have to open it, and then you can delete it, and we'll actually delete it from e uh, Gmail. That's why once a week I go into actual gmail.com, and I delete the mails I no longer need. Anyways, I really enjoy these two programs, and it would be nice if there were one, but I like the simplicity of Mailbox, and I like the way that this automatically sets up different folders or bundles, they call them. In this case, the default ones are travel, purchases, finance, social, updates, forums, and promos. And because I do want to keep some of this stuff, and I want to check it, and I can go in quickly and really check it out. And it's really, really, really useful. So go ahead and check it out. Now, the only problem with uh, Gmail Inbox is that it requires an invite. But you can go to the website and then you can request an invite. Or if you know somebody, I don't have any invites left myself, but if you go to the site, you can request one. And uh, Mailbox uh, is free for anyone. The beta client for the Mac is really good. They recently updated it a few days ago. So if you have a Macintosh, uh, Mac OS, go ahead and try downloading the beta for Mailbox for your Mac. It's free. And this is how I keep my Mailbox, my emails managed. I like the sleep modes. You can also sleep them on, on here. So if you want to read it later, you can set a time here. Snooze, they call it on this one, until tomorrow, next week, someday, pick a date and time. This feature is really, really useful. That way your mail is sorted out and easy. And during the day on my iPhone, when I have a free time, I go check the mail. 
and I sort it out and it's all done. Anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about. I rambled on longer than I wanted to. So go ahead and check those two apps out. That's Mailbox. Uh, uh, check the link down in the description be below. And as well as Google Inbox. Check those out. I really recommend both of these apps if you are like uh, have a lot of email and you want an easy way to manage it on all your devices. Anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about for today. Until next time, uh, don't forget to subscribe to keep updated on new content. Go ahead and uh, check out my other videos below. Share, comment, and tell me what email applications do you like to, do, to use? What kind of applications do you like to use to manage your email in your daily schedule? Anyways, that's all for today. Until next time, see you then. Goodbye.